I am Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting question on ratios and percent. Anil has $450 consisting of nickels, dimes and quarters. He has twice as many dimes as nickels and four times as many dimes as quarters. How many dimes does Anil have? So that's the question for you. You can pause the video and answer the question. So we know the total amount here is equals to in dollars four dollars and fifty cents right and this is formed with nickels dimes and quarters so we have nickels dimes and quarters so nickels as you know can be n whose value is 0 0.05 or five cents is that okay yeah dimes let me write this as d is value of each dime is 10 cents 10 cents quarters let me write this as q is 0 0.25 or 25 cents these amounts are in dollars okay now what we know here is that he has twice as many dimes as nickels so which are more dimes are more twice as many dimes as nickels right so so if dimes is d then these are twice the number of nickels it is two times n now in this case the small d and small n for me is number of dimes and number of nickels so now i'm considering number of right number of dimes is twice that of nickels and four times as many dimes as quarters so dimes are four times as many as quarters that means if you compare with number of dimes with number of quarters it is four times quarters q so that is in case of numbers this is in case of value how many dimes does anil have so that is the question for you okay now we could do it in many ways one way is ratios let's do it in the way of ratios so can we find ratio of dimes nickels and quarters think about it so dimes is d which is two times nickels and four times quarters right so uh, let me write it on the right side and then i'll explain you uh, how we can get different kinds of equations so what we have here is we have a, a number of dimes that is number of dimes okay number of uh, nickels and number of quarters and what we understand is that if we have one quarter here if we have one quarter then the number of dimes is four so it is four correct we also know that number of times is two times nickel or we could say that number of nickels is half of number of times right so half of four is two so it could be two so we can now say that the ratio of dimes to nickels to quarters is four is to two is to one do you see that that's the ratio so if I have one quarter, I will have two nickels and four dimes. If I have two quarters, I will have four nickels and eight dimes times two. You get an idea, right? So what we don't know here is how many of each do we have? So let's say we have X of each. So if we have X of each, in that case, their numbers will be, we can write this as four X, is to 2 times x is to 1 times x which is x right so that becomes their numbers right and we know that value of a dime is 10 cents value of a nickel is 5 cents and the value of a quarter is 25 cents total value is four dollars fifty cents so we can write here that 4x times dimes is 10 cents 0 0.10 plus 2x times the value of nickel which is 0 0.05 plus x times quarter which is 0 
in dollars should be equals to 4.50 right so that gives us one equation so now we can actually add them up right so if I multiply this by 4 I get 0 0.40x times 2 will give us 2 times 5 is 10 0 0.10x and uh, x times 0.25 is 0.25x it is 4.50 combining these what do we get so 5x and then 2 plus 1 is 3 and 3 plus 4 is 7 so we get 75.75x equals to 4.50 so from here we can calculate x as 4.50 divided by 0 0.75 do you get it you can actually use the calculator at this stage and find what is 4.50 divided by 7.75 right so 0.75 times 2 is 1.5 and then if you double it it is 3 one and a half it gives us a value of 6 approximately you know you could do that 6 times 5 is 30 6 times 7 is 35 right so so we get 6 times 5 30 6 times 7 is 42 42 plus 3 is 45 so we get 4.50 right so 6 times 7 5 so x value is 6 for us if x is 6 we can substitute this value of x here and find the number of dimes so number of dimes are six times four right so we have number of dimes as equal to four times six which is 24 right so we get our answer that number of dimes are 24 right as an exercise you can find the number of nickels and quarters and verify if the total is same as four dollar fifty cents or not right now here is an alternate method also let me write down alternate method which you could always apply in such questions and that is to say what is the value of this set that is four dimes two nickels and one quarter now four dimes is four times 0 0.10 2 nickels is 2 times 0 0.05 and 1 quarter is 1 times 0 0.25. So you can find what this value is, correct? So this value is equals to 0 0.4 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.75. Do you see that? Uh, I'm sorry, 0 0.25, right? 0.25. So when you add it, so 0.5, this is equals to 0 0.75. So 75 cents will be one set how many do you need you need 450 divide 450 by 75 cents you'll get your answer right so so that's another way of finding the answer one set will give you 75 cents how many of such sets will give you four dollar fifty cents the answer will be this should be multiplied by six to get you the answer that's the value of x correct so that's an alternate method which you can always follow. I hope you understand and appreciate the standard method which have been used here. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.